Time for us to find the time hexagon. It's got to be somewhere in Marin's room. I don't know exactly where. Marin's bedroom. Surely the hexagon is stored somewhere here. Yes, it's stored somewhere here, but don't call me Shirley. My name's Michael. So, where would Marin hide a top secret item? Obviously, he would hide it behind his bed. Obviously. Obviously. The Eye of the Sky Watcher. This is a difficult puzzle upstairs. Thank you for that information, <laughs> Marin. Okay, and what's here? Looks like he, he still misses Cassandra after all this time. Okay, so the secret is hidden under this picture. Smash the picture. So there's a flying machine on the roof. Hmm. Okay. Ah, and here's a puzzle. So this, 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 and this. Oh my gosh. This, this, and this. Yes. So solving that puzzle opens the way for us to go upstairs. Let's check out this flying machine. And there's the bird. Impressive. Very impressive. Getting more collectibles there. Gives me a part of the moon ice, whatever that is. So this is a flying machine, just double checking. This is in fact the flying machine. Cool. So the moon ice goes here. And then the tin punch cards go here. For the complicated puzzle. So let's see, we need to find uh, where all these things interlap. I think it's here, actually. Yeah. There we go, perfect. And then this one... It helps if you're trying to aim. So like this area, that's pretty easy to get. Um, this one too, with two stars right next to each other. So let's aim for the two stars right next to each other. And then again, two stars right next to each other. And then here, it's just the top. So if you need that as a guide, that would be the guide I'd recommend. Uh, but, I mean, I only know that because I, I saw that puzzle before. Okay, so that gives us the clue for here. And there's the time hexagon. Hey you, cook, open the door. You wanted to kill me. Open it, or I'll break down this door. Oh no, Marin survived. The poison wasn't strong enough, or Marin has excellent immunity. There's no way back now. I need to find another way out. Okay, so he is not as dead as previously suspected. That is that is not a good situation for me. So we need to escape before he breaks down the door and kills me. I love how he slowly walks up. I guess he realizes there's nowhere for me to escape. Oh, wait. Oh, no. What about my disguise? Is it wearing off? Uh-oh. It is. It's you. You thought you could get the better of me. I'll kill you. No, oh, dude. Let's talk about this. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Susan's awesome. So naturally, she flies to safety. Ah! Oh, hey, we crash landed where we wanted to be anyway. Cool. That's convenient. Ouch. Well, that was hard. I hope Corco and Obian are all right. Now it's time for me to go back to the past. Yeah, maybe we should check up on them. No, 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 let's just go back to the past. I mean, after all, we're going back to the past. We're going to change history, so none of this ever happens. <laughs> Which is why I think it was probably not the best idea to poison Lord Marin. We could have done it without trying to kill him, because, well, we're going to erase him from existence. Kind of, something like that. Anyway, we're in the past now. There. So, the crypt's door is already closed, and the gate is open. This means that Marin has already left for the swamp. I need to hurry. Okay, yes, we need to stop Marin in the past. Oh, hey, there's me! I mean, there's me! 
I mean, all oh, this is so confusing. Oh no, Marin is about to get away through the portal. What? And who could that be? I don't know what I look like. Uh oh. Oh no, what have I done? Because of me, Marin fainted. I have to bring him back to his senses somehow. Yeah, I knocked Marin unconscious. That was, um, probably not the best choice. Okay, so Mar Marin's unconscious. We're going to bring him back with this spell. This is the recovery spell. Looks like that. And we need to use this medallion on the book. Yes, yeah, it's so cool. We're going back to the past. I almost ran into my past self, who is in the past. Yes. Oh, it's awesome. Okay, so yeah, we're going to change history here. We're going to convince Marin to um, be the one who destroys Cassandra. We're going to convince him. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You can't save Cassandra. You're going to have to follow her wishes, do what she told you to do, and, well, sadly, you know, stab her in the heart. Okay, so this is a puzzle. So let's see. Wow. Okay, so with this puzzle, what you want to do is move these things into place so they all fit. That works. Okay, so we want to get the, the big circles. See, that circle doesn't really go over the green area, does it? Wait, what? I don't know what I'm doing here, actually. I thought the puzzle was something along the lines of this. We just sort of move all these things everywhere, but it could be uh, something like this. Oh, come on, green. Come on, steal it. Steal it. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's it. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay. No, 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 no. We, we, we want the crystal to go along all, all sides of the path. Can I get it to stop when it's on the corner? Hmm. I guess I can't, so let's get a different thing in this upper left corner to steal the crystal. It's also kind of hard to get... It's amazingly hard, in fact, to get everything placed in the right spot. I'm just going to skip this puzzle. Sorry about that, everyone. Totally failed that puzzle. I'm very sad. I'm also looking for, um, let's see, the the collections thing on that screen. Anyway, let me let me make up for my failure by um, just completely destroying these puzzles. So this thing goes here, and this thing goes there. They are both going to go together up on the top. Oh, oh that's where the key goes. Okay, never mind. Let me put these two medallions here. And this tells us, um, as we knew, we needed those three magic feathers. Three magic feathers will help. There's one. Okay, so the key goes up here. So this puzzle, you want to turn things around to get the key. And you want the key to drop here. And three magic feathers, like I said. Paper is gonna find um, magic feather number three, right there. This book goes here. We're gonna switch the books around. And sort of form uh, a minor picture. This isn't like the world's most coherent design, but it looks pretty nice. I would say. It's, it's not incredibly obvious what the, the middle three things are. It's kind of hard to see the edges on the left and right, too. But it's not the world's most difficult puzzle. This should give us the feathers. Excellent. So, um, I'm just going to double check here to make sure I didn't miss the collection item, which I did. Here it is. Okay. 
Found it. I think that's the achievement for getting all the... I think I found all the collection items. Good, because that's what I was going for. So remember, this is what the recovery spell looks like. You put the feathers on the staff. And we use the magic staff on Mirren. So the recovery spell looked like this. Now we wake him up. Marin, are you okay? Who are you? What, what, what happened? I accidentally knocked you down, and you lost consciousness. What do you want from me? My name is Susan. You may not believe me, but I've come to you from the future. You personally sent me here. What? No, this sounds like nonsense. Listen, I came to tell you that you must do what Cassandra asked you for. How do you know? I know everything. I'm telling you, it's you who sent me here from the future. Marin, even in five centuries, you still won't be able to create the medicine. And Cassandra... I wish you could just look into my memories. Well, actually, I can. What? What? Cassandra taught me many skills. Looking into memories was one of them. Well, are you convinced? Yes. Now I believe you. Even though it is difficult to accept. Marin, my time is running out. I can disappear at any moment, but I need to make sure that you do it. I have to see it with my own eyes. Make the move. All right. What do I need to do? If he could read my memories, why didn't he First, do that in the other time? you should time sprinkle line. the Sword of Justice with this destructive potion. And then, then stab Cassandra's heart with the sword. Okay, here's the potion, here's the sword. Let's change history. Marin, you have to do this. Sorry, Cassandra. There's no other way. If you don't do it, she becomes evil and takes over the world. If I do it, you become evil and take over the world. We're just trying to stop evil people from taking over the world, okay? And I think that's it. I think we did it. It's so beautiful here. Is this the same place? I hope this time I did everything right. Let's grab the final collectibles. Okay, okay, so those are the final collectibles. Here is a ladle. We're gonna use the ladle here. This puzzle isn't very well explained, but what we're trying to do is make this grave look nice. So we're putting uh, water on those flowers, and then we're gonna light these candles. This is Cassandra's tomb. That means that Marin buried her properly. And that's the end! Yay! We saved the world! Oh, and there's Marin in Fiora! Susan? Is that you? Hey, it seems to be yours, Marin. Thank you for everything you've done for me. What exactly are you talking about? <laughs> All of our actions determine our future. Sooner or later, we are responsible for the mistakes of our past. It's mistakes of the past. Mistakes of the past, not our past. Oh, come on, Susan, you're killing me. That is, that is literally the name of the game. Mistakes of the past. Oh... Okay, whatever.